Dental decay, also known as tooth decay, is the most common disease in the world and causes cavities. Dental decay is the result of bacterial activity, mainly strep mutans as well as lactobacilli. Cavities are formed as follows. When we eat food and drink liquids containing fermentable carbohydrates like sugar, these plaque bacteria feed on these sugars and break them down to release plaque acids. These acids can then eat into the teeth, causing the loss of minerals like calcium and phosphate from the tooth. This mineral loss results in an initial lesion in the enamel. More mineral is lost under the surface of the enamel than at the surface. If this process continues, over time the lesion becomes bigger, spreading into the dentine, and the surface collapses, resulting in a cavity. Dental decay affects enamel, dentine and cementum. It progresses the slowest in the enamel, which is the hardest of these tissues, and most quickly in cementum, which is the least hard and also the thinnest layer. Dental decay forms on the crown of the tooth, where it is known as coronal caries. If the root is exposed, dental decay there results in root caries. Coronal caries is decay on the crown of the tooth. Root caries is decay on the root of the tooth. Brushing and flossing reduces the amount of cavity-causing bacteria in the mouth, helping to prevent dental caries. Avoiding sugars and other fermentable carbohydrates also helps. Preventing cavities is aided by using fluoride in toothpaste, such as stannous fluoride. Let us see how this takes place. Fluoride and calcium present at the tooth surface and in the mouth following the use of fluoride products. For example, stabilised stannous fluoride and act as a reservoir to protect against demineralization during acid attacks. When acid is produced by bacteria, it penetrates into the enamel accompanied by saliva, fluoride and calcium. If demineralization occurs, the fluoride and calcium that are available can demineralize the area, also making it more resistant to future acid attacks. Both fluoride and calcium are necessary for this to occur. Thus, to summarize, bacteria and plaque react in a low pH environment leading to the loss of minerals, or demineralization. Brushing and flossing, and using toothpaste with fluoride, reduces the amount of cavity-causing bacteria in the mouth, helping to prevent dental decay. Avoiding sugars and other fermentable carbohydrates also helps. How can you prevent cavities? The most effective way is to maintain a proper oral care routine. Floss regularly and brush at least twice a day for at least two minutes each time. The use of an appropriate toothbrush, like the one with a special crisscross bristle design, will also help remove more plaque. Reducing the buildup of plaque can help prevent cavities. Electric or power toothbrushes with a small round brush head and an oscillating and rotating action have been proven to be the most effective. Use it in conjunction with fluoride toothpaste with a proven antibacteria efficacy.